How does the past hold the key to the Black Panther's future? One scene in Wakanda Forever has an interesting answer. Just beware of spoilers. Black Panther Wakanda Forever was always going to be full of surprises, given the sheer number of plot threads that have stretched across the Marvel Cinematic Universe since the first Black Panther movie. Between the new Black Panther and the mysterious villain officiating the arrival of a whole new species of super beings, Wakanda Forever managed to keep quiet about one particular appearance no one saw coming. It was a welcome surprise in a twisted way, but one that will make a drastic impact on the future of the MCU. The shocking appearance comes when Shuri makes her journey over to the ancestral plane, much like her brother T'Challa did before her. Audiences, and Shuri herself, were likely expecting to see a conversation with T'Challa in some form. Instead, Shuri is greeted by someone else entirely, in an encounter that puts a dark spin on the film's themes of dealing with grief and loss. It's the reunion no one wanted, but secretly did deep down when Shuri encounters the spirit of her late estranged cousin, Eric Killmonger Stevens. Shuri is shocked to be greeted by her old foe, but Killmonger has an explanation. He's there because of her hunger for revenge against Namor, and her temptation to take action in ways that those before her wouldn't have considered. These very same tactics led Killmonger back to Wakanda for his attempt at the throne in the first place. I'm exercising my blood right. The challenge for the mantles of King and Black Panther. While the unexpected encounter may have been nothing more than a warning for Shuri, it's one that lingers in her mind even after she leaves the ancestral plane. She's so rattled that she even refuses to talk about the experience to Nakia. Still, when it comes to choosing which Black Panther helmet to use for her suit, she picks one that looks more similar to Killmonger's suited up look than her brother's respected and beloved guys. The dots and golden streaks hint that his influence still lingers and may continue to do so whenever the Black Panther returns. When it comes to the future of Shuri's time as the new Black Panther, Killmonger's impact on his cousin through their short meeting on the ancestral plane might be far from over. While the film saw the Wakandan princess going back on her original declaration to Killmonger and sparing Namor's life instead, Shuri's secret may have lasting effects the consequences of which may manifest in future MCU projects. This type of morally gray plot development would make Shuri a far more complex and exciting hero, which isn't to say that she hasn't proven herself worthy already. Imagine if the news were to get out that it was Killmonger that Shuri saw during her visit to the ancestral plane, rather than her mother or brother. How would it go down with the neighboring tribes of Wakanda if it was revealed that she had gained her new power by speaking with the enemy? That definitely doesn't seem like the kind of thing M'Baku would be happy about. In addition, having already returned for a surprise cameo, is there a chance that future Black Panther installments could see Killmonger's spirit haunting Shuri in the world of the living? It would give us more time to spend with Michael B. Jordan's beloved Nasty Guy and would allow for the development of a dark lair to the newest protector of Wakanda. For the people of Wakanda, death is not the end and Shuri's time as the new Black Panther is only just beginning.